guys, welcome Track and KY. Chuck here, we, Randy's also going to be uh, showing you some steps on the jig heads that we're going to be pouring. But all I've got is some sickle hooks here. This is one out by Eagle Claw. And uh, wherever you find jig heads, that's how they look right there for pouring jig heads. they got the little curve in them and the sickle on the back like it's right here. But then we're going to be pouring some eighth ounce and quarter ounce right here. Uh, we got the heating pot going right here, the lead pot. And always remember to put your uh, mold up on it, let it heat up. That'll keep your lead from sticking and stuff and let it form good when you pour it. And right there's how you do it. You just got your eighth ounce and your quarter ounce. You just lay your jig, uh, jig hook in like that. Then you just bring it down, shut it up, squeeze it really tight where to seal and hold the lead. And then we'll just pour us a couple like this right here. And then you just open them up. And this is the outcome right here. This is what you get. Easy, fun to make, little jig heads like this. And then you'll cut the tags off of it. Randy will be showing you that part and how he makes the aspirin head out of them. Okay, this is Randy here, and I got the jig head that Chucky just poured and still got the sprue on it. I just take a pair of side cutters. cut him off smooth as I can get it this is a working jig not a show jig now we like our jig heads to be more of the aspirin type and this is a round head jig mold and if you're going to paint your eyes on that'll be just fine but we like using the reflective tape eyes and stick on so what I do instead of buying another aspirin head jig mold I just take a hammer with a smooth face on my vise, but you can use any kind of flat piece of metal. Just give it a couple of licks. And there you have a real good flat side to stick your eyes on or whatever. It even works good if you're going to paint them on. But that's just a little tip. If you have a round head jig mold and you like aspirin head jigs. So we're going to paint a few up and then we're going to make another video on tying some, some higher jigs. So uh, we're going to pour a few more and paint them and then we'll show you some tying in the next video. Okay, we're, we've got about a hundred jig heads poured and we're getting ready to paint them and we're using uh, powder paint from Harbor Freight. Most of them's going to be white. We're going to do a few in brown. And, and got a heat gun set up here in my vise. Just have to hold it there just for a few seconds, just to get the jig head nice and warm. Dash it in, pack it. There you go. Pack it, powder painted jig. Into the rack. Grab another one. If you sack it, it's going to the heat gun. Now I know this works better if you got a fluid bed to put your powder in, but I don't have one. <laughs> they don't like showing enough for a fluid bed. And, um, we don't bake ours after we paint them either. A lot of people do that, and that's fine. But these jigs are going to be in rock and timber. And ours don't usually last long enough to go bad. That's the reason we make lots of jig heads. And this has always worked good for us, and we're going to stick with it. Okay, guys, next step that we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting one of these little fellas right here. Okay, guys, next step that we're going to be doing, we're going to be painting one of these little fellas right here. You can see that... Uh, We've done powder coated it right here. This is the Harbor Freight. That is a really, really good powder coat. That's just white right there. And the color that we're going to be painting this one with is, this is LA Colors. If you want to know what brand we use, this is metal, purple. I like purple for smallmouth. We also got chartreuse. This is in the gel. We got red, 400. Of course, the traditional black. 
that's a 412 or clear coat where we'll be clear coating them pink for trout and stuff and also the metal right here this is a green it's got a good metal flake metal look to it got a lot of reflecting to it same as the purple right here and this is the most common colors that we use right here and uh, like Randy was saying earlier in the video we don't bake them or nothing like that a lot of our lakes most of our lakes and rivers are deep lakes rocky as can be a lot of wood in them timber and stuff also our rivers is the same this is a quarter ounce jig head right here and I'm just going to show you a little process of painting them and because our jigs does not last that long we get down there where the fish is and we go through a lot of jigs it ain't that hard to make them and we just make our jigs it saves money plus it's a nice little hobby to get into it's fun making them and we just go over him with a nice coat of paint okay guys it's dried now and all we're going to do is right here's the little reflecting eyes i got a couple popped out here that we'll be putting on it and i'll show you the final steps that we do to these little jig heads here we'll just take them add one little eye on that side press them in tight and add another eye on that side just like it right there and then we'll take some of the clear And just put a good coat and that's it that's all we do now we just put it up let it dry knock the eye out for your line and that's about it right there I'll just show you I'll just show you some that we got made there are some jigs that's being tied Right through there, some pink ones and stuff. Them's eight ounce there. These are the quarter ounces. It's been getting ready to be finished. There's all the hair and stuff for tying them. Over here, some more that's drying. And you can see right here, this is the little eyes that we use right here. Here's some red ones. Got some silver ones there that's reflective. There's the brand that we use. If you're interested in looking them up and finding some. And we gave like a dollar nineteen for these. And you got like a hundred of them. Very inexpensive. Here's some gold ones also that we use you can go up with bigger hooks like this right here in the jig head for like hybrid and stripers here's some right now that randy ain't got the skirts on that he's making guys that's about it on making these jig heads uh randy's at work right now um uh, he's gonna come in and we're gonna tie them and get them all fixed up and ready to get them in the in the jig boxes and stuff and we fish a lot of rocky areas we lose a lot of jigs uh whether we're trout fishing smallmouth fishing or whatever we may be fishing for and we just dip them paint them and get out there and fish with them and because you know they don't last very long as we were saying but i hope you enjoy the video i hope you give us a thumbs up guys i hope you uh try this out for yourself like i said easy peasy to make and we will see you in the next one.